Hi, this is Goldwyn from Phoenix Infotech. Okay, today I'm going to talk about Samsung Galaxy S10. Price, news and leaks. Okay, first, a latest update. The latest leaks points to the Galaxy S10 having a camera cut out in the screen. A triple lens camera, an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner and a new interface. Current Samsung S10 rumors suggest a phone with a larger screen, maybe one that does away with the iris scanner in an attempt to make the screen to body ratio larger than the S9 Plus. Every fraction of an inch of space counts. Samsung did just announce its Samsung Infinity Flex display, though we suspect that will be on a different foldable phone as the idea we saw in person on November 7 seems like a concept. In other words, Samsung could launch a Galaxy S10 variant to test the waters with early adapters. Ok, let's move on to design and display. Three different screen sizes, a bezel free and notch free design, a 19 is to 9 aspect ratio and 1440 into 3040 resolution. According to the Samsung Mobile Business Chief DJ Core, the Samsung Galaxy S10 will have some very significant design changes and come in some amazing colors like maybe black, grey, blue, red, green and yellow. Yes, and we will have a 3.5 mm headphone port also. Meanwhile, a benchmark for a mystery Samsung phone which could be the S10 points to a 19 is to 9 aspect ratio which would make it a taller than the 18.59 Samsung S9. Along with that benchmark suggest a resolution of 1440 into 3040 which would be a slight boost and thus every chance that to achieve those things Samsung would slim the bezels fitting a larger sharper screen into the same size body. One thing the Galaxy S10 might not have though it's a notch. Because as noted by T3, Samsung has taken to Twitter to criticize the notch on the Google Pixel 3 XL. So presumably it wouldn't be going down that route for its next flagship. Having said that, the company has now revealed several new screens, some of which do have notches. And the source claims that the most basic S10 model will have a flat infinity O display, which is the one those new screen and is circular cut out towards the left edge of the display rather than a conventional display yeah next about basic securities a biometric security like an in screen fingerprint scanner and improved 3d face scanner this would go nicely with the all screen design that brings tipped for the phone and would see galaxy s10 follow in the footsteps of the porsche design huawei made rs and vivo next a report claims that it will use an ultrasonic Qualcomm scanner and that Samsung has felt pressure to include it due to Vivo and Huawei both having phones with in-screen scanners. Of course camera as a new camera sensors, a triple lens rear camera on the top in model, 12 megapixel, 13 megapixel and 16 megapixel lenses, a dual lens front facing camera. It's also a rumor that we know here again with the source claiming that while the most basic model of the Samsung Galaxy S10 might have just a single lens camera and the middle model might have a dual lens one, the biggest, yeah, the most expensive version of the Samsung Galaxy S10 would have a triple lens camera. Most recently, we have heard more details on the possible specs of the triple lens camera, with it apparently consisting of a 12 megapixel wide lens, a 16 megapixel super wide lens and a 13 megapixel telephoto lens. And even Hero report echoes those camera specs but adds that the 12 megapixel one will be in 1.5 and 2.4 variable aperture lens. Just like the camera on the Samsung Galaxy S9. You are next about the Samsung Galaxy S10 a power. A Snapdragon 855 chipset, a GB of RAM, a minimum of 128GB of storage. A fast storage. We also have an idea of what might be powering the Samsung Galaxy S10 as it's reportedly going to use the announced Snapdragon 855 at least in some regions. 
This is said to be a 7 nm chipset, which is smaller and likely both more powerful and more efficient than the Snapdragon 845 found in many of 2018's flagships. One odd report has suggested the phone may support 12 GB of RAM too, as Samsung is said to start using UFS 3.0 storage in early 2019. This is supposed to be two times faster than current phone storage modules and takes up less space so there's no room for other components. Plus the minimum size it comes in is 128GB so if the S10 uses it the all models will come to have at least 120GB of storage. So this is the current updates of Samsung Galaxy S10. Maybe a rumors, maybe a leaks, whatever it is. Thanks for watching. God bless. Yeah. <laughs>